Is hair cloning the answer that we've all been waiting for when it comes to regrowing our healthy hair? In this video today, we're going to learn about exactly what hair cloning is, what's going on in 2019, we're going to see when it's going to be available and we're going to look at some of the potential costs involved with hair cloning. So stay tuned. So guys, if you're worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist will give you a full analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So guys, what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to find out what hair cloning is. We're going to look at some of the advantages of hair cloning. We're going to see what's new in 2019. Then we're going to answer the question of when it will be available and then we'll have a brief conclusion. Now, just to make a quick introduction to what hair cloning is, if you are new to it, hair cloning and hair multiplication, multiplication are proposed techniques which are currently being researched for the treatment of baldness and hair loss. The concept of cloning hair is to extract healthy hair follicle cells from a patient and cultivate multiple clones of them in vitro before replacing them back into the patient's scalp where they will grow normally. Now in this video, we're going to break down the complex process of hair cloning and then we're going to provide some insight into the latest research on the topic as well as when you might expect to see hair cloning proce procedures available to the public. So what is hair cloning or hair multiplication? Hair multiplication is proposed to work along similar lines to actual cloning in that cells are removed from a host and then cultivated in a laboratory setting. Once they've sufficiently multiplied, these cells are reintroduced to the scalp where they will hopefully regenerate. And just before we go any further, if you see the bracket and then a number, that means that we're citing some kind of scientific resource or article or some piece of literature. So what you can do is you can go in the description and then you can see all the scientific resources that we have uh, used to create this video and then you can go and further your own knowledge. This method has run into difficulties in its development, however, as it has been found that only a small number of germinative cells can be extracted with each shaft of hair. Even further, few such cells will survive after being reintroduced into the scalp, which makes it very difficult for them to generate a new follicle. The even bigger challenge to be overcome in cloning itself is that hair follicles cannot grow on their own, yet they are too complex to be grown in test tubes. Researchers have found promising ways around this problem, but there are still many hurdles yet to be overcome. The good news for sufferers of hair loss is that the research is ongoing and global, and therefore we can expect that such treatment will become a reality. Once the technique has been mastered, it is believed that it will offer major advantages over other forms of hair loss treatment. At the moment, there are three popular ways to treat thinning and balding. The first is by using an FDA approved medication such as Rogaine or Papisha or Minoxidil and Finasteride. These drugs have been shown to be effective, though there is a risk of adverse effects including impotence and even contacting derm dermatitis. A second popular treatment involves the use of tonics or other hair products with natural ingredients. These are suggested to induce hair growth via natural means and the vast majority of these ingredients unfortunately haven't been conclusively linked to hair growth. A third and more lasting solution is to undergo a hair transplant surgery and such procedures are typically long and uncomfortable in the duration and they often lead scarring. According to researchers, hair cloning will be considered preferable to all of these methods in that there is a minimal risk of visible scarring, there are no hidden side effects, the procedure is comparatively short and best of all, a successful hair cloning procedure would be likely to yield permanent results. So it sounds pretty interesting, what's new in 2019? While it appears that hair cloning is still quite a way from reality, there have been developments over the past few years. Many companies and research centers have jumped on the hair cloning bandwagon in the past decade. These include Intercytex, Berlin Technical University, Durham University, Riken Center for Development Biology, and Replicel Life Sciences. But it's the latter two, 
that have shown the most promise in more recent years. It was in 2016 when researchers from the Riken Center first announced they had successfully grown human skin in a lab, and it seems that Replicel wasn't too far behind. In fact, Replicel, which is a regenerative medicine company, is currently in clinical phase 2 for the development of their own autologous cell therapy procedure. The procedure, known as RCH01, involves isolation of dermal sheath cup cells from a small tissue sample of a patient's scalp. The cells are then cloned within a laboratory setting before being reintroduced into the balding patient's scalp. There are other companies that are developing similar techniques, including Histogen and CFS Hair Transplant Clinic. And Hair Science Institute currently has their own method, which, while not cloning, does utilize stem cells to regrow hair in balding areas. So you're probably wondering, because it does sound fantastic, what is the cost of hair cloning going to be? Dr. Goh's HAS-CI treatment is now available at clinics all around the world. The cost of treatment does not have a shelf price, but they do provide a guide to give you an idea of how much the treatment will cost. Male head types are divided into 12 different categories according to the extent of hair loss that has been suffered. Typically, a thousand grafts will cost around $6,000. In the most severe cases, it is unlikely that a full head of hair can be achieved. Rough prices for men range from around $3,700 for scalps which require fewer grafts to around $17,800 for types which require the largest number of grafts. These prices are based on treatment in the Netherlands or France and will obviously vary due to exchange rates and market changes. Now the other treatments mentioned here are not yet available to the public. Replicel is currently in the midst of clinical phase 2 trials but there's no telling what kind of timeline to expect. Histogen has so far not given away too many details about its plans for commercialization of treatment though they are in the midst of trials for the hair stimulating complex. CFS Hair Transplant Clinic in Barcelona will not make its latest treatment available to the public until they can guarantee a 90% improvement rate. And the cost of their most advanced transplant treatment is currently between around $7,500 to $8,000. So you're probably wondering when it is going to become available. As was mentioned above, there are some techniques currently available that aren't exactly hair cloning, but which do work along similar lines. In particular, I'm speaking about the HASCI treatment, which is currently being offered throughout Europe. There's no way to tell exactly. There's no way to tell when exactly actual hair cloning procedures, such as those being trialed by companies such as Replicel and Histogen, will become available. However, if you consider the great progress that has been made in just the past few years, it's not unfeasible to think that hair cloning is only a few more years away. If you've noticed an increase in your hair loss, there are some things that you can do to put it to an end. Although these methods have yet to be brought to market, there are already questions and concerns over the development of hair cloning technology. Now, cloning is different from hair transplantation in a number of ways, but most crucially in that cloning requires the determination of which follicular cells can most effectively be cultured in a lab before being successfully implanted in a patient's scalp. Moreover, there are still questions over the long-term effects of cloning. In order to reach the market in the United States, any treatment will need FDA approval, which could take several more years. All of this to say hair cloning is not necessarily a pipe dream. However, there is still much development and testing that needs to be carried out before it becomes available to the public. So guys, as mentioned, if you're worried about your own hair loss, just click the link in the description to get your full hair guard specialist analysis. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.